Welcome to J Silver Presents, where you present the best in esports from your favorite professionals. I am joined by Someday of Evil Geniuses after their loss against Dignitas. Although it, we were all on edge for the last few minutes of it, but Someday, I really appreciate you coming out to speak with me today. Yep. I know losses are always very difficult, but before we talk about that game, I want to just talk about your journey a little bit. Uh, yep. You were assigned to a new organization this year after spending years on 100 Thieves. It's been about now five weeks or so on Evil Geniuses. I know you were with them a little earlier as well. But I want to yep. know, how has it been working with this Evil Geniuses team? Um, it's kind of new experience for me because I have been like one team so long time so it's kind of good for me especially there's some young talent as Jojo Pion and Inspire is good really good teammates and then we can keep growing up as a player too so I really enjoyed it enjoying it mm -hmm. I know from talking to you in the past you always enjoy a good challenge um, and this roster with its different parts gives you a new opportunity to be able to prove yourself for you as an individual player who's been all over the world um and from the lck and then coming to north america and working your way up how has it been constantly looking to improve your own skills and always setting yourself up for the next goal um usually i don't think like a cocky because I usually looking forward to be best but there's always a good player like impact or like summit to challenge it so I'm trying to be better every single time and just keep trying to grow up because I don't think I'm the best usually but sometimes I, I'm thinking I'm the best and then I play well as well mm -hmm. okay so this game we have to talk a little bit about it. Up until the 34-minute mark or so, everyone thought Dignitas would have had it. You guys get a Elder Dragon Steel and a Baron and almost push it. And then there's a Shurima Shuffle that ends the game. Um, I know from your perspective, losses are always definitely difficult to talk about. But because of the nature of this game, I know it's always interesting to think about. What will you take away from this game to help you improve for the next games throughout the rest of the split? Obviously, this game we made a lot of mistakes early game, especially me too. So it's kind of um, remind me to like growing up have to like fast and kind of come back until last time. I mean, last team fight. So can be good things, but. Yeah, we just have to be play better because we almost got the game as well. We played better. Mm -hmm. I've been talking to a couple top laners today. I talked to Tenacity and Fudge, and mm -hmm. we were all talking about the Jacks. Uh, mm -hmm. You were the second person today to play the Gragas into the Jacks. Mm -hmm. um, I want to know from your perspective, as someone who does typically enjoy playing tanks, what do you mm -hmm. think about the Gragas pick? Um, Gragas is like kind of tank, but maybe not because he's kind of poke champion and usually like anti um bruiser because you can join really well and then usually in team fight you can marking someone and you have like HP legion in laning so you can poke a lot when you're winning so it can be good picks. Mm -hmm. Okay. So one of the things I want to ask you as some as a veteran player yourself is looking at these games from from a loss standpoint. Whenever there are close games and games of disappointment as we saw today, there's still moments of opportunity for learning. How do you handle losses in a way that will help you want to improve for the next game? Um Usually losing is improved, but a lot of time kind of feels bad or like hurting my feeling. But it is what it is. It's just professional games. And 
this means our me and my team play should should be better to be perfect and i will working on that i today game was i'm really disappointed to me so i i have to be better for next games mm -hmm. i definitely understand i appreciate your openness about this con this conversation i feel like we don't have it enough one of the things i always enjoy hearing about you is you are a player who's very humble you don't whether it's a win, you all you always focus on the greater picture, and when it's a loss, you always want to make sure you take it in on yourself to make sure that you constantly improve and you want to be better. As a player who has won titles, been on the international stage, how do you take moments like this and turn them around to keep inspiring you to do better? I mean... I think if you are a really good player, even though you're not explaining you're really good, then everyone probably will realize you're a good player and you don't have to like explain everything. But sometimes I feel that if I don't talk about how good am I, people doesn't realize. Kind of um, bad for me, but it is what it is because I'm kind of introvert player. But I believe that if I'm consistently play better or play well, then people will realize, recognize I'm a pretty good player and they will probably cheering for me. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. So I want to be the player that who can proudly cheering for me. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate hearing that from you. Um, I want to deviate a little bit to the top lane. Um, like I mentioned, you are a tank player. You love playing tanks. Um, you played in this split. You played a mix of carries such as the Jax and the Renekton. In today's game, you played the Gragas and the Scion. You played in the past. I'm curious from your perspective. Do you think it's healthy that we have a mix of tanks and carries in this particular meta, or would you much rather prefer one or the other? I mean, obviously, I, I prefer to be both sides because I'm kind of a ball style player. I can be tank or I can be like um aggressive champion like Fiora or Jax. So I prefer the both sides of play. Because mm -hmm. some player cannot play aggressive champion, some player cannot play tanks, something like that. Gotcha. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. Um I'm curious though from your as you can literally play anything is there one champion that you really, without giving any secrets away, obviously, is there a champion that you wish was meta again, or someone who's not meta that you'd like to play? Um, I would say probably Liban or Yasuo, because this champion is like you can easily 1v5 or you can easily inting, but whenever you make like montage, it really looks cool and probably get. Um, credit a lot from that. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, I I wish Riven did not exist in my games, but alas, that is the joy of playing tanks in the top lane. Um, I have to ask, um, you still have some time. You guys are pretty favored to either qualify for playoffs, if not take the title. What do you think is going to be the most important thing for you to do in the next few weeks to lock in playoffs and make a far run? um obviously we had some bad moments and good moments so we have to improve as a team um growing the pros and cons our teams and we can improving together then that's it mm -hmm. gotcha i do have to ask a very important question um as you know evil geniuses is pre a pretty evil team they always try to be the villain i know from talking to you in the past that is not your. That is not who you are as an individual. Yeah. But how has it been adapting to the villain story of the LCS? And do you think you would be a good villain? Um. In a way, I can be the big, good villain. Like, maybe I, if I can act well, then maybe. Because, I mean, there is villain that kind or but 
Lily not kind, something like that, then yeah. Yeah. Maybe. But I like the image that we have villains too. Kind of mm -hmm. funny. It is. Uh, we call that the anti-hero in a lot of superhero things. Um, yeah. Deadpool, for example, would be a good example of that. Um, lastly, you have a lot of fans. Do you have anything you'd like to say to them? Um. Yeah, we just started second round, and this is just beginning. So, I I try to do my best to show my performing getting better. So, thank you for cheering for us to who cheering me so let's see next games thank you all right someday with that that's all the questions i have thank you so much for speaking with me thank i so always much. enjoy chatting with you and i look forward to seeing how you do the rest of the split thank you for